The first step in setting up the column was to get some glass wool and loosely ball it to a half inch in diameter. The loosely balled piece of glass wool is then inserted and pushed to the bottom of the column with a glass stirring rod. This is the gel column chromatography assembly that shows a glass column being supported with a clamp attached to the stand. A small amount of G50 Cephatex gel bead solution was poured into the column. The glass wool at the bottom of the column serves two purposes for the filtration process. The first is that it allows the gel to pack into the column where it will be used for separation. The second reason is to keep the gel beads from being filtered out of the column since the swollen gel beads are too large to escape through the wool. Next, the stopcock was opened, which allows the distilled water to filter out through the glass wool and enables the Cephadex to settle at the bottom of the column. More Cephadex solution was poured into the column to further pack it with gel beads, while leaving the stopcock open the entire time to filter out the distilled water. This is how the column will start to look when the gel beads settle and begin to pack. More distilled water and Cephadex beads were added to the column until the column was packed about a half inch from the top. Then the distilled water was allowed to fall just below the top of the gel and the stopcock was closed. Now that the column is prepared, the sample can now be put into the column for separation.